Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and uh, we've got some pretty big Unreal Engine news. Came out of Unreal Fest Seattle yesterday. Now yesterday I chose to cover Unreal Engine 5.5 because hey, it's big and shiny and it's exciting. And if you didn't check out that video, I would recommend doing so. The Unreal Engine 5.5 preview is mwah, it's beautiful. But there were some other big announcements at this Unreal Fest in Seattle and the biggest one is about commissions. Your commission could potentially drop by one and a half percent and that is pretty impressive. But it also also has a big butt. I cannot lie. So we're going to talk about that big butt in just a second. But first, let's get into the launch everywhere with Epic program. So this is a new program that they have come up with, and it's going to launch on January the 1st, 2025. And they're introducing launch everywhere with Epic. Through this program, they are offering a royalty rate reduction from 5% to 3.5% on all platform and stores for eligible Unreal Engine games published on the Epic Game Store from 2025 onward. So if you do not know right now, that is how you pay for Unreal Engine. Uh, you get the first million dollars in revenue free, a very generous program, I should add. And then beyond that, you pay 5%. And that's kind of how it goes. So if your game made, um, you know, a million dollars, oh, I got to do math now, would it be $50,000 would be paid to Unreal Engine? Well, what this will do is make that $35,000 instead. Uh, so it's a pretty substantial uh, break if for people in that. And if your game is making multiple millions of dollars, obviously it is a much more consequential amount. So you might think, okay, well, we've had exclusivity programs in the past. Well, that's where this is different. This is not an exclusivity thing. What you're saying is you are eligible for the rate reduction if you ship your game on the Epic Game stores before or at the same time you release it on other stores on corresponding platforms that you support. That would be PC, Mac, Android, and in the future, iOS. So yes, the Epic Games Store is now available on Android, and it is available on iOS in Europe. So this is inclusive of games participating in the Epic's first run. We'll get back to the Epic first run in just a minute. That is the exclusivity program. Uh, that is a different thing entirely. So uh, the royalty reduction will apply for all platforms and stores where you offer your game, including consoles. So that is the big thing here. If you create a game for PlayStation and um, Xbox, but also for PC, as long as you publish it on, so you can publish it on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, as long as you publish it at the same time on the Epic Game Store on all of those platforms, your, your um, royalty rate just went from 5% to 3.5%. Now, it does get a little tricky if you're on mobile because you're going to have to publish it on their Android store as well at the same time. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, iOS right now, uh, iOS got told to open up their uh, app store in Europe. Uh, they've done some, let's say, malicious compliance around this. And they basically said, oh, okay, well, we're not going to take our 30% cut. But if you use an alternative store, uh, we're going to charge you 27% core technology fee. But if you use our store, we will waive that. This is malicious compliance. I almost guarantee it's going to be shut down in court. Uh, but it is in place right now. So they are uh, offering uh, an exception here. And until you can publish on their store without, you know, Apple's Tom foolery being involved in the middle, uh, there is a waiver and they will give you a four months notice if you need to start publishing on their, your iOS title on their stores, you know, once the legal encumbrances are gone. Another thing to note, uh, they have updated the ELA that you're going to have to agree to. I'm assuming that's going to be with 5.5 going forward because they do perpetual ELA, EULAs on previous versions. Uh, but that's about it. More details will be released on January the 1st. Um, so yeah, that is pretty big announcement. They basically cut their commissions from 5% to 3.5% on all stores and platforms as long as you... Um, publish on the Epic Games Store, whichever platforms you support for it uh, on the same day or before. Pretty big, actually. Uh, and then on top of that, again, Unreal Engine 5, 5 dropped. Uh, I did a whole video on this, uh, this new Mega Lights, super impressive. But we had a couple of other announcements as well. Uh, we had some details about Fab. I covered this a couple of weeks ago. The Epic, um, the Unreal Engine marketplace is being replaced by Fab uh, and the commercial side of a number of their other products, things like Sketch Fab and ArtStation, um, and Quixel are all moving to Fab as well. Uh, they had it so that you could migrate to the store if you were an existing Unreal Engine Marketplace user. Now it is open to everybody. So if you want to get your stuff up there, uh, you can now publish it up onto the Fab store. Fab is going to be an online universal marketplace for all game engines and DCC tools and so on. Um, 
So they opened it up. The publishing portal, so September 17th, they opened up for the Unreligion Marketplace sellers. Now everybody can sign up. So if you're an asset creator, uh, you can now start publishing up to Fab, which should go live later this month. They also did an announcement about uh, first-person camera mode and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in UEFN. I don't really cover much UEFN content here on the channel. I'm curious if you guys would like me to change that. I've asked that question in the past. I think the answer was sort of, eh, eh. Eh, and uh, that wasn't really uh, motivating. Uh, they also did this. Uh, they launched their um, new indie portal, uh, Epic for Indie. So they've created the dev communities. I don't know too many people that actually use this, to be honest, uh, but it is out there. So um, you can join this particular community. Uh, I've got a little bit more details about that in just a second. Uh, one thing to go back to, though, the Epic First Run program. So you might be a little confused. Okay, what the hell is the Epic First Run program if you got launched everywhere with Epic? Well, the uh, Epic First Run program is an exclusivity program. So you get 100% uh, of the revenue for the first six months if you hire, if you publish your game to the Epic Game Store for an exclusive period of time. I think it's one year, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, so this requires you to publish your game only on the Epic Game Store. Much, much different deal. Now, the thing is, this also includes, like, so you don't pay any commission for use of Unreal Engine and you don't pay any st uh, store fees at all. So you're getting 100% of the profit there. This is kind of going to take away a little bit of this because, you know, all of a sudden, one and a half percent of the royalty upside is gone now. So an exclusivity deal with Epic Games is a little bit less magical than it used to be for the developers in terms of the re reward because they have this other program out there which does not require exclusivity but this does give you other things no store commissions and a hundred percent discount on your um unreal engine license and then the last part again is in the dev communities they have opened up this new um indie spaces for small teams uh, so it's a place created by devs for devs to connect, share, learn from each other. Earlier this year, they refreshed the community experience with better navigation, faster load times, and improved the community profiles. Now they're taking the next step. The Epic developer community is expanding with a new indie spaces for small teams. Join us in indie space to find one another, get the latest news, engage with industry partners, and discover learning resources. The key thing here is it's not just for Unreal Engine users, although I don't really know why a non, like if you were developing a Unity or a Godot game, I don't know why you would make this your future community. Uh, it is now live though. Uh, so this is what it looks like. I'm not signed into it. So maybe it's more impressive when you're signed in, uh, but it seems to just sort of be, you know, a forum and portal for content and so on. Uh, but yeah, this the the new uh, developer portal for indies. Not really a big deal. I'm curious if any of you guys are using. Do you use Dev Community? If so, what do you think of it? Let me know that in the comment down below. Um, I don't know too many people that are using this, to be honest. But it is out there. So that is the big announcements from Unreal Fest Seattle. So pretty big news, to be honest. Again, Unreal Engine 5.5 preview is out, and mega lights are pretty amazing. Check out my video on that if you didn't already. But also, again, we have this new Run Everywhere with Epic program, which gives you you uh, a 1.5% cut on your royalty rates just for publishing on the Epic Game Store at the same time as other markets. Pretty impressive. I'm curious, what do you think? Is that uh, too big of a butt for you? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.